Hi fellas, and today I want to introduce you my first talking video about this tiny princess and if you want to enter your SM shooting raw video and you want to suck all potential from this camera you will realize that you need 3K raw mod gives you as much details as possible it's also possible to shoot 14 bit raw which is incredible there should be some underwater stones, isn't it? And here it is, it's 3 times crop factor. So indoor shooting with the kit lenses is just impossible. You will shoot all the time only your wall. Without revealing beautiful environment and everything. If you want to make music video, from my experience at least you have you need to have 24mm lens to have wide shot. So in this case it's really a hard situation. You can find a video which solves all your problems. You can buy this 1018E fast lens. Zeke has video and some other bloggers have this video about this lens. And special thing about it that you change the mount to EF. And now it's possible to mount it on a speed booster and yeah, you will be a happy person. Now you have, if you calculate 2.73 crop factor on 0.71 of the speed booster and on 10 millimeters you will get 19 millimeters. Wow, that's incredible, isn't it? So in this case you can shoot wide angles, all other portrait pictures, not a problem with any other lenses. So, you have to be happy. What's the deal? But the deal is long story. It's a deep long story. I want to tell you about it. What's happening? When you see this video, I just want to be honest. I don't want to say nothing bad about our masters of EOSM shooting. It's quite a tricky video. Because we enter this field to shoot as cool as possible with low money low budget money but this camera costs like 200 bucks yes even less i bought it even less 150 bucks and then you see that zeke uses metabone speed booster but in the video told like speed booster works really well and there is no information about that only metabone speed booster works with this setup and it costs like almost 500 dollars which means it's like you can buy three of these cameras or if we calculate in cameras and equipment you can buy black magic pocket cinema camera with a tilt -a cage for this money does it worth it? Does it make any sense? I don't know why this video appeared on the field of the internet, like opportunities that we can have, but does it worth it? Later I found out like so many people was kind of not tricked this way, but they was sure about one thing and suddenly it happened in other way. So I also was watching some reviews about speed boosters. I started to compare like wheel tracks and meter bones and what how my journey begins so first of all i realized all oh, wheel trucks they have like m2 version 2 like ears it's weird it's called ef m2 version 2 like it was one version version number one and here's version number two and I was watching comparison and I was sure like this is about USM cameras it's EFM mount isn't it but suddenly when the Wiltrex came I realized that this was for micro four thirds <laughs> suddenly I need to have I have to give it back and because I was waiting for so long I decided I will go buy my food and I would buy some directly from the shops Currently I'm living in Seoul, South Korea and I went over 54 shops and no one have it. Viltrex speed booster even I found up on the field of the internet like this is official representative shop which gives you opportunity to buy when I entered this place they told me like producing of these adapters for USM cameras stopped. You just can't buy it. I was disappointed and I was thinking like it couldn't be this way because 
why suddenly it's have to be everywhere all, all over the world but in Korea they told me like I can buy it it's strange but finally I found this one on coupang I realized like I need lens so I bought lens uh, second hand almost uh, yeah, the price of the camera same price like we already have we can count in USMs so now we have two USMs and also I ordered a mount so it went well I couldn't screw it by myself um, first of all I wanted to say for this video like I'm 100% about arts I'm 100% not craftsman I'm so bad in this thing so I even couldn't screw out these things because they were so tight I just cracked all these things and I realized well maybe if I will continue doing this thing even fixmen couldn't fix it so I asked the professional and he changed for me adapter it cost not much money so after that so now I have this special thing and a newer come out I was making research like Viltrex, newer newer you couldn't find any review I'm the first person who made review about newer speed booster and the thing is I'm pretty sure like they build quality same like they almost same fine firmware different but they're like different companies in this case it mean nothing so in fact this is just the same it no matter will you buy Niver or will you buy Wilter they built on the same factory just with the different logos so cringe how I know this because when I put it here is the problem reveals sorry I need to make more suspense in this moment that's why I'm making it like this when you put Niver speed booster on this EF mount and your EOSM camera suddenly camera just freezes you can't focus properly you can't change aperture it jumps from one to other all the time and it sucks it just doesn't work I realized it just doesn't work so I already put it on return I made a video like it doesn't work with EOSM I was shocked what's the problem because I was so disappointed you can imagine I went out through 54 magazines shops I went through 54 shops and suddenly this thing I, I got this thing and it doesn't work I was like what the fuck what happened to me god and next thing what I realized okay I give it back and I ordered wheel tracks suddenly Wiltrex came and I was so happy yes nice uh, let's try this thing so when I uh, put it Wiltrex it was exactly the same problem I want to say guys that I found this post about hack how you can hack Wiltrex so uh, again I'm not good about it I went to fix man then he did this here was the moment you need to cut out some traces to make bypass firmware of the adapter to let lens go through adapter without firmware directly to camera cut it as I think <laughs> please cut and it doesn't work I just ruined my wheel tracks and I was like disappointed in this moment after all these months of my trying I just almost like my life doing to me after that I decided no I never give up I should do well so in this case what can I do I decided to cut this thing uh, now you can see what I used and with this tool I at the beginning I made this for a few minutes I realized no humans shouldn't do like this I think it's just impossible and I made the most stupid decision I ever made because you can judge me it's okay because I'm really not about this what I made I took the nails paint thing yes which holds paint I don't know how to say it. like small bottle glass one you understand me I put it on top this thing because it was on the edges of Viltrex and I started hit with the hammer as hard as I can and this thing just explode I'm all in the paint and you will see like now what's happened there's some paint inside but it works uh, but I had no other chances I started to cut 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 it was really tough with this small thing and I made this and finally I got this glass and what was my next move I decided to buy adapter 
just natural, real one by the Canon from EF to EFM because wow, that's so nice. This natural thing they have to work with each other. Natural. Perfectly. So and it worked. I tried it. I just went to shop. I tried. Oh yeah, everything works nice. And I have glass in my pocket. I checked. No, it doesn't fit well. Of course, I need to handle this thing. And today, finally, I want to show you guys speed booster, which works well with electronics, with everything, focus, and beautifulness, and with the wheel trucks, glass. Yes, handicrafted by myself. If you're not like this weird handed like me, you can make it even more beautiful because you can see if you will cut it more precise, you can even put so kind of this. It can sit back perfectly if you will be precise and careful with your work. I will show you a few videos that I shot today. If to be honest, first half of the videos I I just didn't clean my lens. I'm so sorry. But after that, few clips will be with a clean lens. Uh, you will see the difference. It can compete with meter balls 100%. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm so happy. Now I have 19 millimeters, everything works smooth. Stabilizer works well, everything works well. Guys, please let me know in the comments, 129 gigabytes, is it enough for the shooting day? Now it's the only thing, because I never did music videos using this camera. And I don't know, is it enough or not? Maybe I need to put 256 gigabyte camera to buy this one. And here's the other question I got. Uh, if I will put directly all the data from this SD card to 256 gigabyte, can I use uh, camera or I need to reinstall in some ways? Guys, thank you so much. This is my first talking video and I want to say that I hope I solved your problem because I am sure a lot of people struggle because of this crop factor and if you want to make real nice videos, you need, you really need these wide angles. For storytelling, wide lens is really important. So in this case, guys, now you have solution and option and also it costs you only plus 75 bucks to your wheel trucks. You just buy a second hand and uh, adapter, then crush your wheel trucks <laughs> and have fun.